In this demo, I'll be demonstrating how to use the pen tool and draw in what's called object mode, which also applies to some of the other uh, drawing tools and shape tools. I'm going to select the pen tool to begin with and just show you where object mode is. It's this little icon down here at the bottom and you'll only see it on the appropriate tool, in this case the pen tool. When it's off, it's in what we call merge mode. And I'll quickly demonstrate again merge mode. I'm going to use the pen tool here and I'll just pick something other than the black fill. And if I'm drawing here, let's say, and I'm creating a shape and I close that shape and then I will fill that with the color. If I highlight it, you see it sort of highlights with the little dots. If I double click it, it also highlights the stroke as well with these little dots running through it. Let me just draw something else on top of there to demonstrate merge mode quickly. So I'll choose red as my fill here. And again, I'll just sort of draw something quickly and randomly. Close that shape and I'll fill that with red. Okay, so I'm going to go to my selection tool. Here's merge mode. Uh, when we're working on a single layer and you'll notice I'm only on one layer and I created all of this on one layer. By overlapping this green shape, if you will, with the red, I've really committed and it has merged. If I select this uh, fill, if I move it, you see it actually cuts it out. It's like a donut now. I'm just going to go undo for that. If I double click that and select the stroke as well as the fill, it highlights it still, but again, it's cut out from whatever was underneath it previously. So it doesn't retain its integrity that way on a single layer. This is why if we're using merge mode and we're drawing, let's say, some logos, we would normally work on several layers to create all of the elements. Okay. If I highlight this as well, just to show you that, and if I let it go there and I drop it again, Again, it keeps taking a bite out of itself, if you will, like that. Okay, so that's merge mode. So when you're working on a single layer, it's, it's a real commitment to draw over top of something else. All right, so let me just delete all that. I'm going to highlight it all and just hit my delete key here and go back to my pen tool. And we'll turn this into what's called object drawing mode. Okay, so here we go. It's, now it's in object drawing mode. I'm going to click here. I'm just going to draw again some, some big shapes here. Close that off. And we'll fill that with the color. All right. So that's done. That's one element, if you will. One thing you'll notice right away when I went to my selection tool and highlighted it on the stage, it now has sort of this generalized blue square marquee. And it no longer shows you those little dots as the selection. That's one visual way to know that you're in object mode. But let me click away, which is a way to deselect, and create a second object here. So I'll go back to my pen tool. I'm ultimately going to use a green fill so I can set the fill to green right now. And look, at I'm still in object mode. Until I turn it off, it remains in object mode. And we'll just draw something very randomly here as well. But it overlaps the red element. Okay, and we'll just drop a green fill into that. Oh, let me undo that. I actually need to select, because I was deselected, I need to select that stroke. And I'll do the fill with this method since that was on top. I'm glad that happened actually. I can't click through the hole or it will add the color to the element behind. But I can select that stroke, as I said, and go over to my colors here in my preferences and do it this way rather in my properties. So that's how I could fill it once I'm overlapping. I mean, that's good to know. So that little outline was basically a line over top of the other object, which I could click through where there was no fill. Okay, let me just draw one more object, I guess, on top of here to bring this home. And I'll ultimately fill it with yellow. So if I set that to sort of a school bus yellow there. Okay, we'll just click and I'll have it intersect both of those pieces. And again, if I try to fill it here, it's going to fill the object that it's clicking through on. So I'm going to undo that with my selection tool. Select that most recently created line. Remember, I did close it. You still have to close it. And go over to my properties under the fill box and then just choose a different color there. So we'll just pick that one there. All right, so that's object mode. Now here's the great thing again about object mode. When I click each of these objects, they are still intact. I can click this and move it around, move it around, move it around. 
Okay, and I can also change the stacking order. That's another thing here. So with this blue one selected, I'll overlap here. If I go up to modify, arrange, bring to front, bring forwards, send backwards, send to back. So send backwards kind of goes one object at a time. Send to back puts it at the extreme back right away, like that. If I want to bring it to the front with it still highlighted, arrange, bring to front okay if I want to just send it behind the green but not behind the red that would just be going send backwards arrange send backward all right so it goes one step at a time so you can always restack them yes you can restack them in any order you wish just by going up to modify arrange okay just gonna do one more here I'll just uh, show you that it also applies to the brush tool as well as these shapes tool let me go back to the brush tool quickly here. And if I'm just going to I'm just going to draw sort of a random quick shape and close it off here like that. And let's go to our paint bucket fill tool and just fill that. Okay. So again, if I click on that, it was the latest object drawn on the screen, so it should be on top of everything. Now, if I want to add a stroke, you can see that there's no stroke associated with it right now. We can just go over to where the bucket tool is and it's uh, nested in with the ink bottle tool. The ink bottle tool is actually the tool you use to apply a stroke. So I'm just going to leave it at black here at the same settings that it was at and click on the line. You do have to click on the edge of the line a bit and there is the stroke applied when none existed previously. Okay and at this point I can adjust it accordingly. And there we go. So in essence this is how we uh, use the object mode when we're working with drawing tools and your assignment today will be to use the pen tool and I'm going to get you to choose three of the logos that you would have downloaded I believe there were six in the group choose any three I'm going to start a new file real quickly right now let's just go file new okay and I'll just use the high setting Click create and I'll just go fit in window here all right, so if I bring in one of those logos, I'll go import to stage. And I'm just going to pick what I think is probably the easiest one, shell logo. And drop that in there. And I'm just going to lock that and create a new layer on top of it. All right, and this is how you'll create it. So I do want you to create at least one of those logos using the object mode for your drawing tool. So with my pen tool selected, I'm still in object mode. That's merge mode. That's object mode. I'm just going to zoom up here. Command uh, plus. I'll actually go command minus to zoom out a bit there. And let's just say I'm going to draw the red section first. All right. So I have a black stroke which will show up pretty well against these colors. So I'll leave it at that. Uh, but I will bring it down to two. So I'm going to set that at two manually. Hit my tab key to enter there. And start to click away. So remember, click for a straight line. If you want it perfectly horizontal, hold your shift key down. But every time there's a corner in a straight line, it's a simple click. Click, click, and like that. And now I'm just going to use my space bar to drag down. Now here I do want to initiate a curve, so I'll remind you. You can click and drag onto the handle to pull out, or rather onto the anchor point to pull out a handle. And I'll go roughly to where I think the halfway point is for this. Click and drag, and try to match that line. Now, if it's not perfect, I can always come back and edit, or I can also edit on the fly, I'll remind you. On the Mac, it's the Command key. On the PC, it's the Control key. And I can go and edit this and sort of just tweak that around till it kind of is perfect here. And we'll just pull on this handle a little bit as well. There, and that's pretty darn close. All right, <clears throat> so I'll just click over here and drag as well. And you can see I can drag past the screen, right? It's not a real problem here. And nail that. Now, coming out of that large curved handle, I want to come out with a straight line. So I can click on this once to eliminate that second handle, thereby creating a straight line on my next click. And I'm just going to come down here, over here. Again, I'll hold my shift key to constrain it on the horizontal. I'm going to pull a little handle out here. And when I close it off, you see the little circle there to close. And close that off and just try to get that curve there. 
Okay, so I've let go, my shape is closed. Um, if I want to come in and edit that, I can come in with my subselection tool after the fact, click on the line, click on the anchor point, and just start to make my adjustments. There we go, and that looks pretty good. So I'm, I will go back to my selection tool here. And let's fill this with a color. So I, I can match the red. I'm going to go with my eyedropper tool. Click on the red there, and you see how it matched in there. And now we'll go with my bucket tool and fill that. There we go. So there's the first shape. Now if I want to get rid of the stroke, which I ultimately do, I can select it again. And you also see, because I was drawing in object mode, that it's just a big blue marquee. But to get rid of the stroke, I can simply go over to my properties, go into the stroke panel, and it's actually cut off here, but if you go to the little white box in the upper right corner with the red line through it, that eliminates the stroke. All right, and there we go. Now you're probably wondering, how do I draw the rest of it since I can't see what's underneath? We'll use that little trick where we'll shift click. There we go. And that allows you to see through. Okay, so I can start to draw what is actually the yellow section now. So I'm just going to go down to my pen tool here and we'll draw this uh, second shape that sits on top of the red here. Um, my pen tool is still set to stroke at 2, so that's good. So I'll just get started here. So I'm just going to click my first point. I'm going to shift click to keep a horizontal line. And these are just straight lines, so it's simply clicking away. And now I want to initiate a curve, so I can drag a handle out from that anchor point. And I can click and drag at the other end as well. And if I want to edit this on the fly, once again, Control key on the PC, Command key on the Mac to change these handles while I'm still working. So I want to eliminate the second handle, so I'm simply clicking on it. And I will click for that next straight line. Okay, and if I need to use my spacebar to move around, I'll do so. Again, I'll click and drag a short little handle coming out of that anchor point. Then click and drag here. And then click here to eliminate the second half of the anchor point and click down here. Now I'm going to pretend like I went all the way around. We're just going to bring it right over here and kind of speed this up and finish this off like this. Okay, horizontal line. I'll hold my shift key down once again and I click and drag to drag a small handle out of there and click and drag to close to maintain that curved line as well. And that's actually pretty good right there. Okay, I'm going to go over to my selection tool again. And I want to fill that, and I'll just remind you, because these are objects, and this is just a stroke with an empty area, if I was to use my bucket tool, it would apply to the object below. Therefore, I'm going to use this method, where I select the line, or rather the object. I'm just going to drag that down a bit here with my spacebar. And go over to my properties, and I'll actually just adjust my window here a little bit so you can see the actual no-fill property. So if I go to my stroke, rather no stroke, it's this line right here, okay? And actually, that I want to do that, but I, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me just actually keep that as black. It's the fill that I want to apply. Sorry about that. Let me go to fill and just pick that yellow. And there we go. Now I will get rid of that stroke by going down here like that. There we go, okay? And you can see how it conforms to the shape when I eliminate the stroke. And to eliminate it, I did have to go over to my properties. Okay, I'm going to resize my window here again. And there we go. So, your assignment for today is to draw three logos, redraw three logos out of the six that I've provided. I want you to do one using this object drawing mode that I just demonstrated. Then I want you to do a second one in the merge mode that we did in our previous lesson. And you'll use, probably have to use several layers for that one. And then the third logo, use the mode of your choosing. If you prefer the object mode, do it in object. If you prefer merge, do it in merge. So altogether, you will be recreating three logos that you will hand in on Canvas. And that is your assignment for today.